Hello my good friends and welcome. I hope you're doing great. As usual, I'm your host Rico Banks and this is Code Star Technologies, one of the fastest growing online learning platform where we normally offer courses uh, in this field of IT uh, with the skills that are needed out there by the employers. So feel free to register to one of the courses that we normally hear offer here like uh, Python. We have got uh, web development with uh, PHP, MySQL and even uh, full stack JavaScript um, uh, developer uh, with uh, Node.js as the backend and many many more even data science and so forth so um without wasting time i would like to talk about uh, the our uh, today's vid um, uh, topic uh, in one of the videos that i did uh, in sometimes back i talked about sms api and in our today's session i would like to talk about uh, how you can uh, uh, consume uh, sms api remember this is one of the most uh, needed features by the developers and uh, the clients out there uh, the clients whom you're going to meet so they will ask you if the system has got the capability to send like sms uh, we normally talk of um, uh, what we refer to as uh, email that is bulky sms and bulky emails and so forth because of marketing and even communication to the clients so in our session i would like to talk about that and um, Sometimes back, uh, I used to get amazed by how people used to develop kind of system that could uh, have these kind of abilities or uh, features. And uh, I had to do my research, as you know, that in this field of IT, it's very, very hard to get someone who can uh, give you mentorship and so forth. So it's very, very hard to get that kind, of these kind of skills. So you have to um, uh, work on your own, keep doing research and so forth. So I looked for some companies that normally offer um, um, SMS API and um, uh, of late I came across this uh, this one but before I used to use another one called um, connect media and so far I think they don't work anymore but there are so many companies that normally offer SMS APIs out there here in Kenya and uh, I came across this one Mobitech Technologies Limited it's one one uh, which has got the best price that I I have seen of late so let's check uh, the prices it's good to check the prices though you can research on other companies you can feel free to do that so on the prices um, as you can see there is a um, 0 0.35 that is cents Kenyan money you know that is a very little amount of money uh, like with one bob now you can send almost three SMSs and um, as you can see if you need to buy the sender API not sender API but sender ID um, they have got uh, nice prices here like 5,000, 8,000, depending on which company that you want to buy. Remember, the sender ID is the name for the company. Like, for example, if it's called Star, we want, like, when we make we send an sms it has to display the name of our company without showing just a default id like two two something like that so that is what we mean by this so as you can see the price is very very nice so what you just need to do is to uh, click on login or create an account first and when you create an account they are going to activate your account and send you um login details that you can use to log into your account like for example um I have my account here I'll show you how it works so once you have that you log in once you log into your account you'll be able to click on this SMS home something like that there is the reason why I didn't I don't click it because when you click it it's going to display uh, the ID which is normal like the username which is called sir something like that but now there is a uh, what we refer to as API remember when you're working with um, um, API there is something we what we refer to as the API key so when you click on SMS home it's going to display the um, uh, what we refer to as um, API key which now you need to copy and uh, to get the code that you can use you can get it on the developers whatever that is it will depend on which code that you need as you can see there is the simple code which you can modify if you are a developer you can work with this but if you need to uh, implement it with the other uh, languages like we have got uh, php we have got python we have got also java and uh, so forth so in this case we are going to use um, php so i have the code with me uh, with me here so uh, let me show you and take you through the code i have the sample code which is sms demo api something like that and uh, as you can see i have a simple form here 
uh, which I'm going to insert the um, it's supposed to be um, not email but uh, it's supposed to be uh, what we refer to as a phone number uh, phone number for the client that I want to send then here it's supposed to be number not email this is supposed to be text uh, remember this is just a simple HTML form so ID phone uh, name make sure it's going to be form because this is what we are going to get uh, when we submit our form and maybe have a form action you need to say uh, form action is indexed because it's going to be processed by this PHP code here so we are going to process it in the same same form so uh, same same page um so uh, we have got the phone number so we'll enter the phone number and the message which is going to be on a text area and uh, we are going to have a submit button which the value is submit so uh, i was talking about the form action index and the method method you are supposed to specify it as um uh, something to do with the uh, post it's supposed to be post something like that so when you submit when you click the submit button what is going to happen is going to invoke this um php code as you can see if uh, if uh, is set post send then this code is going to be executed so it's going to get this url then submit this kind of information like you have got the api key this is just a, a dummy api key because i cannot use my correct uh, api key then this you're going to get them from there uh, uh, as I said, from these um, these SMS on the SMS home, you're going to get your API key. So you will paste your API key here, and again you will enter your username here, then send a ID here. Once you do that, ne the next thing is to get the message from the submitted form and the phone number. And once you do that, then the rest of this code is going to be executed, and uh, it's going to show the results whether the SMS has been sent successfully. So that's how it normally works. So we can try it here now so that we can see how it works. And uh, I have a um, sample form here, which is, um, uh, as you can see, I can say just, uh, let, me, uh, let me get it back. I have this kind of code. Let me copy the code again and I can make some changes so that I can check how it works. Uh, uh, so, when you open because i'm using wamp you just need to click localhost sms so once it is opens it you get to enter my phone number then you can add this text i don't want to type because i'm not that fast when it comes to typing so um so i can add like um mm, can call it what mm, don't differentiate because i did it latest message or I can say uh, Karibu Tena something like that I can say Karibu Tena and uh, just uh, send and if I send it's going to show me the response the SMS had been sent so I need to get the SMS from my phone I think I have to listen to my phone whether it's it has displayed that uh, let's check let's wait and i think it has done that so this is the sms as you can see there was the first sms that i sent then there is the second one i hope now you can see it karibu tena yeah so those are the sms's from the id twenty two one three six something like to, to do with that so uh, if you check on uh, our sms area here let me refresh i need to see like the third sms that has been sent so we can also check it here let's view the, the sms uh, the way we did from code star some blah 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 uh, karibu tenor. that is what i added so that i can modify so that it can look like as if it's a kind of new message Usianze kusema huo wewe hizi SMS ulikuwa umetuma before and maybe you want to convince us it is working so that's how it works and then on my next video I'll show you how you can do 
bulky sms using the same same thing so that you can get to understand and uh, when we talk of bulky sms it means uh, like you have a csv file that is an excel file where you have stored uh, your um, yes a csv file or excel file where you normally store like um the customer name something to do with um, his phone number or the, their, their phone number that is it and maybe you can have even the messages there because the messages they can differ like for example i got this uh, kind of um, a project where i wanted to design um, i was to design uh, the, we didn't agree uh, the price uh, they, they were asking it's in high school that she was asking a system where they can have just an excel sheet where they have the phone numbers of the parents um uh, something to do with their parent name that is the name of the parent the contact and the the message like uh, the message con uh, compresses of uh, fee balances and so forth so they just need to send an sms with that and they will just upload the content on the just uh, so we we normally have got this one even once you have this kind of uh, api it can do all that kind of work so um I'll show you on the next video how you can work with that, how you can um, just import a CSV file or Excel file and uh, even send those kind of uh, dynamic SMSs at, uh, at, uh, at once. So that is what we mean by that and um, in our next video I'll be doing that. So feel free to share this video and uh, again to like and uh, even subscribe for the guys who have not subscribed so that you can get uh, to support this channel and be part of us. So thank you guys, uh, I appreciate a lot.